then I really started thinking about it. Because all you need to do is keep a couple <clears throat> empty bottles on you. Whenever you come near a water supply that you trust, pop it on, you're good to go. You don't really have to worry really about needing to scavenge or have water on you. Because it's always there. I could definitely see how we can turn that into <clears throat> I could definitely see how it would affect the survivability part of the game mechanic. Really lessen the impact of it. Well that's cool. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of graves out here. Uh do I want to rob these graves? Without a shovel at the ready, you cannot succeed. You know what? It's not going to be robbing grave. It, it sounds like it might be fun, but come on. People are dead. And not to mention, I had some very bad experiences with Fallout, robbing graves, so. And Wasteland, too. Very bad. Very bad experiences. Okay, so now we got some parts go fishing see what fishing before you lies a makeshift fishing pole it floats slow it floats slowly bobbing on the surface of the small pond you know that the fish here love certain body parts of mutated insects and spiders if you have any you could probably catch something okay so that's kind of cool certain mutated insects and spider parts so oh no spider brain wasp legs or the ant spit gland. We'll use the spider. You sigh and put the spider brain, which looks and feels disgusting, on the hook and throw it in. All you need to do is wait. You yawn while looking at the clear surface of the lake. All is quiet. So. Okay, so. Wait. You blink a few times, look around. All clear. You squash an annoying mosquito that tries to bite you in the neck and look around. Everything is quiet. Can we pull on the string load? You stretch your tired limbs inside, looking out at the water. Pinch yourself on the arm. You start dozing off. <laughs> okay. Okay, stop fishing. So, spider didn't work out. The wasp legs. You put some... <clears throat> with some effort, you put a dry wasp leg on the hook and throw it in. It's all you need. Wait. There's actually an achievement to catch a magical fish, but it's rare. Maybe they... Later on, the water kind of... Okay. Alright. Awesome, the burning one. You yawn while looking at the clear surface of the lake. All is quiet. So... Go in. Hey, Tillnick, how's it going? Hey, Barchman! Not too bad! Okay. A bite! Something pulls on the line, and you have to grab the pull hard to save it from going into the water with the bait. Pull! Damn it, you pulled too fast and the fish pulled, slipped away. On the other hand, it did leave the bait on the hook. Okay. Well, that's good. So we need a bite. Okay. So looks like wasp legs are what? So we pull. You're in luck. It's a, a horn smelt. Some old timers say this fish is much bigger than its pre war predecessor, which didn't even have any horns. But who cares? It's now part of your collection. Woohoo! Caught my fish. Let's see what does a horn smelt look like in the. Oh, <clears throat> some old time. Okay, applying three seven health minus six hundred plus ten radiation doesn't work in combat. Okay, so I wonder if I can cook it. Mutation prevents it from rotting. You can eat it raw, but it's still better to cook it. Okay, so we know how to cook it. We're learning how to fish in this game, so that's kind of cool. So wait. Ah, there we go. So, oh no, the hook lodged itself in an underwater log or an underwater stone. As a result, your bait is left underwater, making a free lunch for the fishes. All you get in return is some water. Pass. Well, let's try our last one. That's it. You swivel your neck a few times while biting the inside of your cheek. All is quiet. Whistle a little. Oh, so time passes while you're doing this. Whistle a little melody. It bites. Something pulls on the line. You have to grab the pull hard so to save it from... Okay. 
You're in luck. Cheerfully pull it out and all you caught is an old boot, at least to bait to not get lost. Okay. Alrighty. I don't even the poorest hobo would wear this old boot throw away is the best you can do with it. <laughs> oh, fish are extremely heavy. I didn't even look at that. Uh which does that thing weigh? 3.50 kilograms? Holy hell. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, when you're fishing, it does. Alright. So, cook it over here. And let's go... I guess we'll wait till the morning. Can you rest? I wonder if you can rest in this. So... Shepherd's still up. Cook. Horn smelt. Fry some horn smelt. After eating this weird creature, you can replenish some health. Cook it. The taste of horn smelt isn't very fine, but after the feast, you can get the taste of rot in your mouth. Your life force returns, however. Okay. So. Gained one radiation from that. And our hunger. Okay. To actually eat that. Oh, I can't sleep on his rack. What is it? Can I get his water, though? They're empty bottles. Can I use his sink? No. Oh. Alright. Is that a log? Alrighty. So let's go and come into town. Wait till morning. We need to talk to one of the toadstool. That's uh oh. oh yeah, that's right, we got a perk. There's also a fish that has three eyes, I can't remember the name of it though. So. Oh, okay. So now we have perks. Gold rules the world and the merchants really gold. Ten percent discount anywhere. Okay, so these, it says status, these are all open for learning. Nurse, an ability to max out the healing effect of drugs available in the wasteland, plus 10 first aid. Armor of God, force of will shall help you balance tight spots. 20% to resist and knock down. Way of the warrior in the waste, people quickly learn to use their knuckles as well as melee weapons. Um... True Grit, the ability to use rifles and shotguns is a great help in the waste. Okay, so that's kind of like, boom. Throughout your knowledge of the land, shall get you 10 survival. Gunslinger, to survive in the latest one needs to get his pistol and shots before talking. Gotcha. Burst Boy, automatic weapons are still common in the waste, but the ability to properly use one's worth weight in gold. Burst firing weapons. Uh do this. Oh, wait. Yeah. So it's connected. Yeah, the Simpsons fish. <laughs> That's funny. So you, oh, this is kind of like you want to plan your tree. What's this? Monster lore expert. Cat's eye. So monster lore. An experienced warrior can tell a lot about his enemy by looking at him. More info about infamy. Uh, cat's eye person can see in the dark as well as in daylight. will always have more chance to win in battle. No handicap for fighting in darkness. That's kind of cool. Eagle Eye, aiming at a vital organ, usually does the job. 50% chance per, from current critical chance to hit from scoped firearm. Manhunter. Some say that man is the most dangerous of animals. Double damage to people with a critical aimed shot. Oh, okay. So, discount. Effective training. Some lucky people get it faster than others. Plus three skill points per at every level up. Uh, bookworm reading is the best way to learn. 50% skills you get from reading. Effective training. Great skill it is to get the maximum out of every lesson learned. Okay, so more EXP. So... We'll use rifles. 
Survival's just got a whole buttload. Look at that. Supplier meeting a caravan in the waste is a good time for those with trade. Chance to meet a caravan. The burning one. As far as I know, there are five companions. Four of them you can't can get together, but the last one is an evil companion. We can make all the other ones. Leave. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know. Okay, so survival want to like throwing which is alright so explosive expert got here way of the warrior and the waste people quickly okay this is so this is melee so that's literally the melee tree this is yeah automatic tree armor of god carry weight damage reason so nurse is all of the medical stuff so hmm lover of healthy foods every wasteland wastelander should learn how to get the most vitamins from let's just go with the uh, to go with there we go oh wait okay so if you pick it did apply Okay, so now if I close this out, go back in here, can I take it off? No. Okay, so to apply, you would just exit out. So, all right, cool. Now we can go to our map and see our current quest. Collect five toadstools and cat you from the tavern. All right. Over here and turn in our toadstool. Cat you doesn't sleep. Yeah, you're, when you're picking your skill tree, you better make sure you pick the stuff that you want. Oh! Oh, damn. I've already been playing two hours. Didn't know that. Can I review my old conversation from her? No. It has to be why in the sink. All right. Turn in this quest. Yep. Here you go. Hello. How is the gathering? Got something for me? Yep. Got some. Well, great work. Proud of you. Let me see. You hand the mushroom to the girl. She looks them over with the eye of a professional and satisfies with the quality. Gives you a smile barter. There's some top-notch mushrooms I found. I strove them up to get the best ones for you since you like someone who knows what quality is worth. I think these might even be for twice what you were offering. What do you think? Or speechcraft. Oh, well. It's alright, but well, I'm just so tired. I wasn't easy to get those, you know. I almost died. Went to hell and back for those fun guys. So what do you say, madam? Maybe your knight deserves a real reward for his epic deeds? Alright. Bam. Success. Oh, my hero. Oh, my gallant Sir Bors. Here, we have another 20, you know, for recuperation. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> now, how about speaking to the village head? There's a good ending and a bad ending. Yeah, uh, from what I was saying, there's multiple endings, so... Sure thing, I'll write a note to Comrade Covell right now. Saying that I recommend you for hire. Go give it to him, personally. I'm sure he'll want to talk to you. He lives in the left, the bar entrance. Good luck. Thank you. Cool. Alrighty. So now we're getting the introductions to him. Before you stand, an old man in the old weathered but clean jacket. Looks around 60, but very well preserved. Okay, yeah, we already talked about that. Uh, to do, what do you need, Cameron? I got this letter of recommendation at the tavern. I'm looking for work. Interesting. Let me take a look at you. Also, you could barter. If you can barter with them, this will be green. If you can't, it's red. So that's another like fallout thing. Comrade Kolev takes your note and quickly reads it. You notice that he holds it very close to his eyes. Seems like the vision of the strong old man is going to isn't as good as it was in his prime. So maybe I wonder if we should keep an eye out for some glasses. Seems like Katya will can be trusted. Maybe so. In any case, you made an impression. This is a recommendation enough. Tension. You know it's real warmth in the head's voice. And when he talks about Katya from the tavern, his tone is almost fatherly. Wait silent. Head thoughtfully cracks his nestle. And after that, he raises a gauge. He looks as if he's reached a conclusion. Maybe I have a job for you after all. You probably already heard about the bandit gang that terrorizes our village. Come on over, buddy. Come on over. Okay. Continue. Each month they come out, pick 
take out our supplies away from us. If you don't pay up, they rob and kill our people. We tried fighting them, but to no avail. But now, looking at your honest face, I come up with a little plan. Sweet, you hired seven guys well equipped, and now you're going to have me do the job. And all I got is bare hands. The head lowers his gaze again. It's hard for you to read him. He is either indecisive or just trying to find the right words. Wait silently. The thing is, is our village probably has a snitch living in it. A traitor, a rat. I'm sure about this. Someone made a pact with the bandits and tells them everything that's going on around here. Probably the traitor that just showed up. But with that said, I can't imagine who the rat is and some bastard. And the bastard himself knows me and the other villagers too well to be get caught. When we hired mercenaries to protect us, the bandits already knew about it. Every time we trade for a bit of money, they attack. Someone is ratting us out. Oops, sorry about that. You're a new face in the region. It should be easy for you to rat, for the rat to trust you. Bring me the identity of the traitor. That is the job. And why do you trust me with that? I could be one of the bandits. The head laughs mirthlessly and appears to shrink a bit before you. His true age becomes more apparent, and you realize that he may be much, that he much older than sixty. I, uh, I'll tell you straight. The village is slowly dying. The drought, the bandits, our young people always leave. That's the problem. All that other stuff with the young people leaving, you screwed. A few more years and we'll be wiped off the map. The old timers will die and the others will simply scatter. Some might even join the bandit. I really don't like my option, but it's probably our only hope now. A last hope to change something, fix something. Not to bring back what we lost, but at least to buy our settlement or time. But I must, if it must die, let it die honorably on its own, leaving more memories in the hearts of the people. What's happening now, that's not even death. It's withering, it's rot. That's not good. It seems we need an investigation. Conrad Covell walks up to you. Do you agree or do you decline? Say it straight. I agree. Where should I start? And there's the, uh, and what will you pay me? And I decline. Now, uh, let's go for it. Where do we start? Well, let me just tell you who in the village I do not suspect. For one, I completely trust my fighting men, Yan and Petra, the south and north gates, respectively. It would not work for me otherwise. Trader Yashin may be a suspect. He is new in town. He obviously has a shady past, but he's so much for the, for the village. He built a shop with his own money. He pays taxes and suffers from the bands like everyone else. Dr. Mikion and Old Simeon, I trust like I would trust myself. We built this village together, you know. They're good people, tested by time, and I never talked to the doctor. Comrade Grankin, the village superintendent, on the other hand, the cowardly, shifty person, but he is, but no, he is too cowardly. He would never work with the bandits. It's much more profitable for him to keep post in the village, and the bandits have no respect for him, and would probably shoot him for the last if he tried talk to them. Katya and Vasya rep. The owners of the tavern have no reason to be snitches. They would never do something like that. And the others, I just don't know about the rest. Maybe you can give me some more clues? Suspected trader is a man. Not too old. A person that travels from time to time but is ultimately lazy. The head wrinkled his nose. Those criminal types, they had whore honest labor. They think that the only low people must work while they act like some Aristocrats. Aristocracy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I better start investigating. Ah. Uh, hmm. I think the only one that fits his description, really, the guy who was playing dice with us here, or wanted to play dice. This is the doctor. He's a slightly bent, thin, but otherwise well-built middle-aged man. He's dressed... In a dusty lab coat with its sleeves rolled up and cloth hat of a peculiar shade of gray. Yes, you must be the local doctor. Bullseye, young man. Dr. Mikion, at your service, but you may call me simply Constantine. Did your help, doctor? Dr. Mikion checks your pulse, your blood pressure, even your iris. He finally says, looking disappointed. You're already healthy, young man. Please visit me only if you're tumors. Okay. Can't even have a free checkup these days. Listen, how about a small discount on all the drugs I'm buying? I wanted to ask you something. Young man, I'm a doctor, not a criminal under integration, but if you must, ask away. Tell me about yourself. It's nice to, nice to listen to a smart person from time to time. 
I'm one of the original residents of this place. Been here ever since the collapse. Nothing else is special about my biography, though, and thank God for that. Very concise, Doc. Good for you. Can I ask you some more questions? Uh, heard any rumors? Young man, I'm a doctor, not the village gossip, but but I do hear some strange rumors from time to time. For example, I've heard that in our tower, the proprietor adds toads to some of the spirits. Never touched the stuff myself, and I highly recommend you do likewise, young man. In respect to this witch's brew might be unpredictable. Thanks for the device. And question? No more questions. I'd like to buy it. Let's Small discount. Barter, right, we'll see what you got. Oh, damn, he has told Stu, so I can spot it. Stimulant. So, apply health. How much does one of them cost? 52 rubles. Let's do that just in case we get in a fight. I bet he's. Okay, so he has a few water containers. Water. So we need six more. Automatically does. Great. All right. So we don't. I think the doctors. Jackass. We have to worry about. I think the guy in here playing dice. We go for old tropes. It's usually the poor, poor sap who. Uh, some empty bottles too, right? Or we're... Okay, these were just the empty bottles. Alright, that works. Puppy Snuggles, yeah. Old Lukey. He's a good old boy. Getting old. Likes his company. He lets me know when he wants it. Oh, damn. Oh, there's a brick, dude. Okay, I think I got everything to make a shiv now. I need tape still. I think I need tape still. Toilet. Oh, there's some rope. Damn. Kind of got to hold down alt when you're walking around. For stuff. Maybe I think I already checked that. Yep. All right. Can you oh can't go up there ladders I got rope now oh that's wires I think this is the guy what you, okay it's the, I'll play some I like to get your opinion on any local bandits do they have a representative hey there can I ask you some more questions tell me about yourself a hunter, comrade, investigator, that's not illegal, right? Oh, so everybody knows I'm an investigator, all right? You gotta love it. Fresh air, a faithful rifle in your hands, the smell of a campfire in the step. Pretty romantic, eh? And it pays well, too. Ask you something. Heard any rumors? Rumors? Huh, I'd love to know. Well, one dude told me that some... Okay. Got that. I already talked to him about that. <clears throat> So we're asking him about bandits. The man's face stays the same and doesn't expose any emotion your words should have brought out. His manner stays the same and his gaze is still pretty saucy. These are thieves. What's there to say? They survived. That's it. Barter. Oh, got the dice. On his dice. The guy outside wants to put the dice. Trade. Spits to the side and looks at you right in the eye. Do they suspect someone inside the village? There is a spy ran. Why are you interested anyway, comrade detective? Well, what if I want to join them? Yeah, look, what if one who's working for the bandits just left the village quietly, make no trouble for you or anyone else? Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. And when you decide you're done with all this bullshit, sleeping under rocks, stealing dog food, and all that stuff, there will be a position available for you our, um, I mean, their bandit cap. It's located not too far from here in the abandoned facility. Well, how do you like that kind of career opportunity? Make this perfectly 
clear. You're the village snitch, right? Whoa, ho, ho! Quiet down, man! Yes, that's me. Although I resent being called a snitch. I'm more of an infiltrator. You know, got sent here by my group. Anyway, my proposition is still open if you're interested. Speechcraft, I have a counterproposal. You pay me, I stay silent about what I just heard. Stay here, I need to think for a while. Just think quick. I'm getting pretty nervous about Kovalov hunting me, so I won't stick around here long. If you I see you leave the village, don't expect to find me here when you come back. I'll meet you at the abandoned facility. Sure, just don't leave yet. Okay, that was kind of that was kind of obvious. Yes, I'm going to bash his brains in with a brick. If if that if it comes to that, let's let's do that. Brick, equipped and ready. Okay. All right. Continue. Continue. I found your snitch. It's Grishka, the young guy hanging around the village. Slaps, calls Kovalev, slaps his head with forehead with regret. He looks angry, but also strangely shy, like he just did something stupid. Of course, it was obvious. The man drifts all around, never works the bin of the village, and speaks with characteristic street jargon words. Oh, I'm really going blind in my old age. I just a few years ago, I would have spotted him right from the start. Personality. You're getting old. <laughs> Comrade Koval. Success. The head's eyes fierce narrows the slits, but after a moment, he sighs and slumps it. You are right. I am too old, and I am so very tired. Me, it's time for you to step down his head. Hmm. I don't want to take a spot. You're going to bash in a man. Uh, <laughs> I prefer to help the snitch as the reward is better. Yeah, I'm kind of a a good guy kind of like thing. So I'm going to bash his heads in and, and, and take his take the money. I take the 13 rubles I paid for that dice. So maybe it's time for you to step down his head. Fine, what now? Comrade Cole strokes his chin thoughtfully. He is probably thinking about his next step. You calmly wait for his reply. Finally, he claps his hands, showing that he's reached some sort of decision. You must dispose of Grishka the snitch. This much is clear to me, but how? I don't want to spread panic through the village and make the people nervous. He must be disposed of quietly so nobody notices. Yep, he's getting the brick. Oh, yeah. Uh, we already read that, so we got the streetwise perk, so that was cool. Or distinction, I should say. I would be glad to help with the disappearing. <laughs> Interesting. I would not ask why, but this is good to hear. But what exactly do you propose? Attacking him in broad daylight? No, no, no. That will never work. I don't want to rouse panic in the village. The snitch must be dealt with quietly. It must appear if he just left. Behind the fence, there is an abandoned building. How about you lure him out there and silently, you know... Do the deed cleanly. A rotten thing to do, especially by my standards, but sometimes one must do rotten things. It means saving our little community from total obliteration. I don't know how you will lure him there, but I grant you total freedom to do so. After the execution is carried out, return back to me. I will like to speak to you more about our future cooperation. It will be done. I will lure the snitch into the abandoned house, and well, you know, you gotta go. Woohoo! Alright. Got my brick ready. Got my uh, 